Human beings, as well as all other living creatures, have their own electromagnetic energy balance. Since our first moments on Earth, we have encountered external EMFs as part of the energetic continuum. The planet is naturally wed with simple EMFs, very balanced, that are interconnected with solar activities such as solar flares and even atmospheric events such as lightning. The Earth itself has an iron core that generates a halo of electromagnetic energy reaching far beyond our atmosphere. All life on Earth has adapted to and existed in this natural electromagnetic environment for millions of years. But in the last century we have radically altered our environment as you've seen. We have saturated the planet with powerful human-made EMFs, the likes of which have never before been known on Earth. Now these human-made fields have a different waveform, coherency and frequency compared to the natural EMFs and their effects on living biological systems are just beginning to be understood. The problem is magnetic fields absolutely do penetrate biological organisms. The very strong ones near the body seem to be the biggest issue. Strong fields are generated by different things. Transformers and electronic equipments, all electronic motors, wires carrying high currency, and in the home the largest fields are usually from our microwave ovens, our computers, televisions, our washing machines, our hair dryers, our clocks, our refrigerators, our hot tubs. These can all be such a big problem, especially if you stay near them for long periods of time. Now, smaller fields near the body that can radiate magnetic fields and cause problems are those from electric blankets or heating pads, lap laptop computers, dimmer switches, even automobile systems. What about cellular phones, cordless phones, fluorescent lights? There are just so many sources. Now, there have been countless studies which have revealed the health hazards associated with electromagnetic fields, or EMFs for short. There are some very informative articles on the University of Integrated Science California the website that you might want to read up on. It's good stuff. Anyway, these fields saturate our environment and have been implicated as a causative factor in countless health disorders, including childhood leukemia and fetal miscarriages. In fact, in 1990, the Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, recommended that extremely low frequency EMFs be classified as a probable human carcinogen. Well, because of political pressures, they quickly retracted the statement in favor of the more benign announcement that um, research shows a consistent pattern of response which suggests but does not prove a casual link between extremely low frequency electromagnetic fields and cancer. Well, the major issue with human-made EMFs are that their SOFs are bifurcating chaotic energetic patterns. They're bifurcating chaotic energetic patterns. Do you understand? In this case, the bifurcation or breakdown of the SOFs of human-made EMFs occurs rapidly and continuously, penetrating and depleting almost any organism that is in the bifurcation field. EMF bifurcations never stop depleting you unless you either remove yourself from the area or remove the AC source. Well, as is well understood, man-made EMFs are chaotic and rapidly bifurcating, which differ significantly from the natural EMFs that are basically smooth and harmonious. Man-made EMFs can penetrate and deplete organic energy patterns as they bifurcate. It is precisely this ability to penetrate and deplete human energy patterns that causes artificial EMFs to be so hazardous. Now, many believe human-made EMFs may cause cancer or at least present other grave dangers to human health. I know the problem. You know the problem. Almost everyone knows the problem. 
but don't panic. EMFs have a SOF, and therefore their SOFs can be charged with tachyonized materials, creating coherent, organized EMF SOFs. Coherent EMF SOFs solve the EMF issue. Now, you can protect yourself and your loved ones from EMFs produced in your home and or at the workplace. Tachyonized silica discs were developed specifically to charge the bifurcating EMF SOFs and create coherent EMF energy fields. Tachyonized silica discs are available almost anywhere, so you should be able to get these pretty easy. Now the research has proven what I'm telling you, that tachyonized silica discs will protect you and your family. Their use in transforming the negative effects of EMS EMFs has become the standard worldwide. Now, how do you apply these insights into our everyday lives? Well, let's look at the discs in action. For circuit breaker boxes, tachyonized silica discs measure between either 4 or 6 inches in diameter and need only be placed over your circuit breaker to take effect. Once installed, you no longer need to think about them. The tachyonization process is permanent. Tachyonized silica discs do not wear out. Ever. To find out how many tachyonized silica discs you need to fully transform the EMFs in your dwelling, simply cut one or more 4-inch or 6-inch disc shapes from any piece of paper and see how many it takes to fully cover your circuit breakers. Small dwellings or flats, like a one or two bedroom apartment, usually need two discs. Larger spaces generally need eh, three, four, maybe even more. you got to measure it out, okay? Now, if you're working on a computer, you can protect yourself from the field generated by simply taping a tachyonized silica disc to the back of the computer monitor. Now, make sure you put the side that says energy flows out this side facing into the back of the screen. If you're using a laptop, all you need to do is take a tachyonized cube and clip it onto the end of the cord after the transformer to fully protect yourself. If you have appliances at your home, for instance hair dryers or um, juicers or things of this nature, simply take a tachyon cube and you can easily install it by clipping it around the power cord. And don't forget those juicers, you don't want to deplete the soaps of your live juice. Now the cube also works great on the positive cable of your car battery to protect yourself from the EMFs of the normal car electronics. In the case of our new emerging technology, if you're driving an electrical car or a hybrid car, contact our service center for specific applications for your model. We've got most of them covered. So here we are. Not only do you know the problem, I know the problem, everybody knows the problem, but now we also know a simple and effective solution for solving these problems. Installing tachyonized silica discs on your system and as soon as you do you will feel the difference and that's guaranteed. And when you do that then instead of this being a depleting system it becomes an awe inspiring view. Electromagnetic fields. Let's change the way we live.